No, I can't say enough good things about him. Yep, absolutely. But let's say some good things about this match here we have ahead of us. We are going to be seeing Pyromethu from Cosmos and the Sheik from Sen. So this is going to be a bit of an interesting matchup here. Super explosive. Um, huh. I mean, a few people have called Mithra the Sword Sheik. So interesting to see how she is going to do against the default, the original character right here. Both characters have tons they of safe shields. Right? Look at this. In neutral. Yeah, exactly. They're just tapping each other's shields with forward here safely. And what's like, what do you actually do about that? You play rock, paper, and scissors with one another. <laughs> you, have to, you have to play like some fairly abstract level of RPS to be able to get like hidden. Uh, because both of them kind of look for the same thing sometimes. And we've seen Cosmos with the immediate switch to Pyra. Maybe quickly right back to Mythra. They like both. They both have the ability to put such quick buttons to whip in each other's faces, um, but nobody's been able to get too big of an advantage yet. Yeah. It feels like these are two of the premier button characters in the game for sure. Pithra yep. just has that kill power that is so raw. Sometimes Sen tried to go ahead and do that get him attack, but a little bit of a back up. The retreating forward smash was a phenomenal choice by Cosmos. Who tries to get the down tilt, ended up facing the gong direction, but now just controlling the platform right now. So, so beautifully, Cosmos was able to land in time. Started to put on a bit of pressure for himself. What a down air. That was a footstool down air as a punish from out of shield. Got that gimmick tech going. Wow, that was, that was really good. That was so solid. It's not often that you actually see practical implementations of footstools as an out of shield option. Shout out to CDK though, that man is going crazy with it. Footstool mm -hmm. into the up B out of shield. All right, Pyra on deck, and this is the uh, this is the character with that DLC down air, and she typically doesn't get too frame too frequently because you can up B above the ledge, but if you're trying to recover low, you might be in some trouble. Yeah, ooh, that's gonna be back to for a bit of stage control, maybe trying to catch a jump through. Sen needs to find a way to be able to get back onto the stage, but against Cosmos, he's been doing such a good job of holding it down. That side B is huge. Also, the Orca tag, I'm curious if uh, if Cosmo just uses the exact same controls as Larry or hasn't realized that uh, doesn't have his tag. Yeah! <laughs> I'm kind of like... curious about that. We just saw Larry on screen create that Orca tag. So I'm just, it's either both players know they do the same thing or there might have been a bit of a mistake here. I would not be able to tell you, but you know what? Back go. Is that back go? Yeah, back go bouncing fish, exactly. Just waiting out sends. Next option. Mm -hmm. Just can't get any confirm right there as Cosmos holds the shield, recognizing that you can just try to grab the landing. Sen is doing a really good job of just retreating after these areas, though. Anytime something unsafe happens, he just runs away to minimize the chance of getting counted. I feel like all of the things that Sheik wants to look for in this kind of a matchup is exactly what Pyro Mithra wants to do, except they have bigger buttons, and they are honestly just as safe with good enough spacing. So every single approach from Sen feels that much more middle in a way that Cosmos does not have to commit to, especially when it comes to shield pressure. I mean, darn, we all know bigger buttons, better buttons, too. Yep. So Mithra perhaps has a little oh. bit of an advantage, and Sen, unfortunately, unable to make that recovery. A minor tech club right there, spelling his defeat. Well, then, <sighs> well, I feel like Sen was doing like a pretty good job, but the biggest issue ultimately was just an inability to find like a good and clean way to approach, a good clean way to be able to get in. Um, and Cosmos' shield pressure was so good, and Cosmos' advantage state just felt so much more solid. Felt like every single hit that he was able to get led into a lot more damage uh, than Sen got. All right, so perhaps a change up right here because look now, the tag has changed, so it may have been a minor mistake right there. He still won with the wrong tag. He still won, so Flicking. that's a, that's a <laughs> bit of a flex in of itself. But Sen getting comboed off the stage, those back airs stringing into the up beat. But look at oh the damage. A little bit of chic itis here, too. So for that F smash to connect, you'd have to do like a shutting step with just like a dash, uh, dash back, dash forward um, F smash just to get yourself a little bit more spacing for it. But Cosmos did have the good idea ultimately. But now Sen just trying to catch the landing has a good idea, but a little bit too far to the stage and now finds himself getting juggled. I mean, you talked about having those larger hitboxes. We've seen two and three times now where Sen will reach out with the back air and just barely miss Cosmos and get hard punish in return. Mm, I like that down is a quick way just to be able to get close enough to the ledge, just stopping Cosmos from being able to position himself for a better ledge trap or an edge guard, but a bit of a, maybe too aggressive of a dash attack. Drag down, what is the response? Great back here again. Sen doing a that really good job of controlling space. 
that movement, that space, that everything. And that is the best way to punish Pyga with your side B. It's either to get over it or undo it. Because there's a nice big blind spot um, right there. And if you can, if you have like a double jump rising aerial, that's the best thing that you can do. Absolutely fearless from Sen doing it first without with a move without a disjoint, and then that run off stage teleport to just absolutely explode Cosmos. That's character knowledge right there. Run and off stage up B. Who does that? Sen. 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna start calling that Sen now. Exactly. I'm pretty sure other chicks have done it, but you know what? It doesn't matter because to me, Sen was the first one to do it. I mean, boys out here saying something about that, perhaps, but yeah. still, great option. Not quite able to go ahead and finish that stock, though, before getting clipped by Cosmos. Who tries to get like a crown to down? That is always like a deceptively difficult move to punish because it always has a little bit less end lag uh, than you think it will, and you're like, wait, how did you just spot dodge? How did you do that? Um, but Cosmos, really good dash attack, though. Back Recognizing uh, that Sun was like dying down and away and was a little bit too low uh, for like another back here to connect. Down to, into the up smash, not quite finishing up the counter pick, perhaps not working out for Sun there, but again, just Cosmos barely surviving on this stage. It's Sheik. It's Sheik. Yeah. Sheik's inability to kill is a constant meme of ultimate. We're seeing it come into play. Cosmos is getting a bit of hits in. Um, yeah, had that F smash killed, we'd be seeing a completely differently paced game. Upbeat. Now, you don't actually get two frames if you upbeat from above the stage, so I love Sen's decisions right there. He's basically just daring Cosmos to come out and challenge the teleport, because if Cosmos misses on that, he may very well have the win box or the hit box carry Pithra off stage. We're both on the ledge at the same time. Sen is going to be the one to try to ease her control first. This is a bit of a scramble, but you know what? Down tilt into instant double jump up here is going to be the move of choice to take it out. So, we said Cheek doesn't kill, but correction, Cheek has so many setups that do kill, they just don't kill until, like, ridiculous percents like that. Yeah. It's it's so sad to see this character have to scrap for every single stock, but, I mean, considering the frame data, I'm kind of happy it doesn't kill early. It's fine. She <laughs> exactly. is fine. It's a okay. fine character. Like, this character was slept on for so long, but Void and then folks like Sen have been showing us what she can do as of late. But right now, we are using Pyro Control. The stage is just so scary because he basically can die at any point. The up smash is not going to catch Sen, like, sort of pancaking a little bit into the stage with that aerial. Oh uh, my god. You tried to punish an aerial on shield. Pyra yeah. having none of it. Just rear back and let him have every bit of that sword. You can if you have a dish joint. Exactly. They're like minus 10, minus 9 typically, so not necessarily the safest. But, uh... Even though she technically has quote unquote fast buttons out of shield, nothing is disjointed or big enough or fast enough. Exactly. Now, Mithra gets the forward smash again, calling out the bouncing fish. Pyra off stage, drives to the down so air, but aggressive by Sen to come back to stage. That was such a good choice, too, because even if the down air connected, at least it would not spike off stage. So Sen's decision making there was genuinely impeccable. They kept themselves safe just a little bit longer. This is still anybody's game, but I gotta say, Sen has been on the back foot for some time. Gets one forward air, gets stage control, but can't really get a punish there. Mithra is just as safe as Sheik using those options. Can't even get the needles to connect. We get back here because that needle cancel was on point, but Cosmo's not biting. Which catches the jump out of shield. Mithra is not going to be one to be able to close out the stock. I am anticipating a Pyga switch really, really, really soon because all it takes is one good hit. They had it. Oh Force my side? goodness. No, just using the bouncing fish to get the heck out of dodge. Respect it. <gasps> Twice in a row, missing the heck chase. Sen. Struggling for his life out here. Finally gets off oh stage and then the back there is. So deep. Sen knows exactly how aggressive to be to play that game. Yo, Sen's kind of nice with it. I that was know. Clean. That was so clean. Okay. So that F smash was a tragic dropped bit of execution because they had it. They were charging it preemptively. They knew it. They were like, yeah, Roland, Got I know you're going to be here. But then a little bit too far forward. So that slight, slight, tiny bit of spacing almost a uh, bit said uh, in the butt. So going into the next one, I really like what I'm seeing for both of them. I mean, this has been so close. In the scramble situation, Sen has been performing perfectly. But Cosmos appears to just... The margin of error in neutral and in cleaning up these stocks clearly favors Cosmos. Mm -hmm. I think also the one advantage that Sheik does have in this matchup is that you have a recovery that is infinitely more difficult to exploit. Pyro Mithra, the biggest thing to balance them is the fact that the recovery, it's not all Pog. You know, it's, it's, it's not, not amazing. Uh, so just being able to have that little tiny bit of bleeding room um, is, just, is a good cushion to have.
that foresight immediately coming in clutch right there for Mithra. Can't quite finish up the up air. I think we're at that point now where Sheik is going to start falling out of these strings. But look at the percent differential. Now it is Sen's turn mm. to have to scrap for every point that he needs. I don't know really what uh, Sen was looking for from that grab, but you know what? F Smash not going to kill quite yet. It is going to be Mithra after all at the end of the day. Tries to get the drag down from the up air. Not going to be able to find the down against the up air quite yet. Um, Sen is barely living and the not anymore. It feels like Cosmo just turned things up right here. His Mithra strings were so powerful to start that off, and then Pyra getting just the two or three hits she needs to get that stock. Uh, even on a rising, even with a rising aerial, that looked so, so safe because of the way that you can cross up Pyra Mithra is so fast. This character is absolutely nuts. <gasps> that needles. Honestly, it felt like that could have been like a bigger release needle. It could, like, if that was like pointed towards the stage, that might have been able to successfully hit Cosmos because he was quite far away at that point. Bouncing pitch is delaying that recovery as much as possible, but Cosmos unfazed and immediately gets the lead trap. Neutral air again. One Drop back. down, double jump, neutral air dodge. That is not an option that you see in Ultimate. That is the most smash forward thing I have <laughs> ever seen in this game. Drop down, double jump, neutral air dodge. Oh, is that going to be an F smash? That's not going to kill it, folks. It is chic. But now think about this position uh, that Cosmos is in. Tried a couple times to cover that edge, but Cosmos slipping in at just the correct moment. Set it up again with a grenade, and then immediately just calling out the roll. coverage. Tries to go through the back, he doesn't commit to it fully, because that back is plenty enough to do it. Even from that distance, not even Cosmos can side me to safety. Gets a down throw, tries to go through the back, but no good DI. And since shortening up these bouncing fishes so that he doesn't like fully commit and go for the top platform, and Cosmos is catching every single time. What a hash. What a hash. That was only after two pummels. <gasps> okay, those Beerabers, uh, you know, like, jump, canceled, like, dragged on up here, that was so cool. In addition, I don't think Cosmos had a double jump right there, so that side B was a perfect option. Cosmos stage, and then immediately going for the smash attack, predicting that Sen was going to be really aggressive with bouncing fish, but out of shield, up smash will claim the stock, and now Sen forced to his winner's bracket stock, perhaps. Ooh, tries to go through, maybe just a bit of a follow-up there, he's not going to be able to find it. And now Sen just needs an end, they just need an opening, they just need a way to be able to get Cosmos off stage. anything. These smash attacks are just terrifying every single time, it forces Sen to double jump away. Up smash not going to finish up though. The ceiling is just a little bit too high. On other stages, I am confident that that might have been able to kill. Landing top platform, Sen hasn't really been covering that too much. Cosmos is kind of getting down for free using top plat. Sen unwilling to use his double jump to get up there. Mm -hmm. Just dashing and shielding, playing so safely. Cosmos is going to probably start adapting soon with some grabs, but... Uh, how to get off this? Yeah, that's not the answer right there. Cosmos held shield to commit to that option. Honestly, that's okay. If I if all I did was eat a multi jab through that, I am fine with it. It's only like 19, 20 percent. It's a okay. That neutral be almost killing. Not gonna do it quite yet. But the and forward then, smash. Yep. Sen, he's been going up and being aggressive with his upbeats so frequently. This set, but right there, it finally comes back to bite him. Cosmos, perfect adaptation. That was really good. Yeah, that high recovery would have been so good had he gone through, like, you know, something like a down and find that position, which Cosmos was doing before. But this time, he just says, hey, I'm going to F smash you. I can see frame you, maybe. I can hit you going over the ledge. Um, when you recover these forks into a pretty predictable timing like that, it is so, so difficult to get back onto the stage. That's why it's so important to hold on to your double jump, to hold on to your bouncing fish, as she sometimes even cling onto the wall if it's relevant to the actual stage at hand. But really well played from Sen. Really good showing. That's my first time seeing them. I love what I saw. Exactly, I yeah. think I think they're really, really smart. I think some of the positioning choices, I was like, wait, that's like kind of nice.